are now to part two in our loose leash walking series. How is it going for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already watched the first video in our loose leash walking series, I have a link right up here as well as one in the description. Subscribe and hit that bell so that you hear when new videos just like this one come out. All right, that's enough yakking. Let's get to it. In today's video, we're gonna be working on walking in the reinforcement zone. And we'll also be covering some troubleshooting questions that I'm sure some of you are thinking about. You ready? Let's go. Start by asking your dog to come to the side of you. It doesn't matter which side because we're gonna eventually practice both. Take a step forward and then take a step to the side. And we're gonna take a step to the side which our dog is on. It may seem like you're cutting your dog off, but you're not really. Reward your dog for staying with you. I like to ask my dogs to sit whenever I stop because I feel like it looks neater and it keeps your dog's focus on you more. So if you wanted to do that, just reward when they sit. At first you may need to ask them to sit, but then it will become automatic eventually. This may seem a little rude to you, like who wants to be cut off? But it's not actually cutting your dog off as long as he's following you in the reinforcement zone. You're simply just changing direction. You should not have to push past your dog to turn to the side. If this is the case, then you need to practice more on your dog staying in the reinforcement zone before you add in walking. You'll keep practicing this for a while and you will be going in circles. And then you'll practice the other side and go in more circles. This will act like an emergency break in your loose leash walking training. When you see something that your dog might be interested in, you can do this to direct your dog's attention to you and get him off the path and away from something that might cause trouble. Something that I see a lot of people do when teaching their dog to walk loosely is they wait until their dog is already pulling on the leash and that creates what we call a behavior chain. They're letting their dog pull on the leash and then they're somehow calling them back to them, which is rewarding for most dogs and then they ask them to do something else which is also reinforcing and then they give them a reward so practically you rewarded your dog for pulling and this will create a behavior chain where your dog goes pull come back do something treat pull go back do something re get a treat and that just repeats and repeats which that is a terribly hard thing to fix Anyways, the next step would be to keep practicing. You're gonna start all of this in your home and then you might move to your backyard, then maybe your front yard, and then slowly incorporate it into your everyday walks. I also wanna point out that you should not um, take your dog on walks until he's uh, got this part down and you're ready to introduce it into your walks. Otherwise that can create some confusion and inconsistency in your training. The key to getting this to go faster is to stay consistent. I know that it can get very tiring to turn in circles every once in a while with your dog. I've been inconsistent because of this before too. But think of it this way. Every time you turn in a circle, instead of letting your dog pull on the leash, you're one step closer to a loose leash walking dog. Of course, this is gonna be a whole lot easier if you start this when you have a puppy and it stays consistent that way, but even dogs who have pulled on the leash before or are extreme leash pullers can definitely benefit and become loose leash walkers. So what happens if you cannot, for some reason, get your dog's focus back on you? At this point, I would probably try and call my dog back by doing something silly, like making a funny noise, and then ask him to do a couple hand targets to kind of get his focus back and continue on. This is an ideal, but it's a lot better than what it could be. And that is it for this video. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I hope to see you in the next and final video in this mini-series.